welcome back to another lesson and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create or how to design a flyer so in our case we are going to design a training advert flyer that is a business advert flyer so let's start we are going to use an A4 paper size or a size similar to A4 so after launching your app you go and click on this three dots at this section here then you select image size so the image size the width we are going to use two and the height we are going to use three okay so that was that is so with this test we don't need it so let's go to this session and delete that particular test okay now we have a, a new a blank background so we need a white background so let's go and change the color to uh, black sorry we need a white background so we are going to change it to white okay so now the first thing we are going to do here is we are going to insert a shape so let's click on this plus sign here and create our shape so with this shape let's open it up a bit and uh, let's confirm it okay so from here uh, let's rotate it let's rotate it and open it up okay so something like this Okay, so let's change the image, um, the image color or the, the text color. Let's let's let the, the shape property here and change the color. So now let's use black. have this shape here so we are going to create another shape again with the same rectangular shape okay so with this one to we are let's open it up and let's rotate it slightly like this now 
let's send okay before that let's lock this particular layer so let's go to the layer and uh, let's lock it okay then let's select this layer okay so let's select this layer and then place it on it now let's change the color first one is okay for now okay so now we are going to um, add another shape okay no let's add a picture let's add our picture so let's go straight to import our picture so the picture that we are going to use uh, this is a training advert that we want to do so we are going to design something nice so let's go to gallery. Okay, so we have our image here. So we're going to crop it in a circular manner. So let's click on the circle here. Then we adjust it a bit so that we get a nice yellow uh, uh, circular shape. Okay, so with this one, this image, you can just download it from the internet and use it. Okay, so if you're okay with it, just bring it here. And let's scale it down. Now, after placing the shape here, we are going to apply a stroke to the shape. So let's go to stroke and then increase the stroke with a bit and then change the stroke color to yellow. Okay, so we can also. Um, Let's increase the stroke with a bit more. Okay, so we are good with it. Then the next thing we are going to insert um this thing, a shape. We're going to insert a shape, uh, sorry, a, an image into that particular uh, shape. So let's go to gallery and select an 
in reach. So you're going to wear your image, so this is the another image that we are going to use. So with that image, you can use your own image based on what you are designing and whom you are designing for. Okay, so we have this image here, we just still want to copy, but we are inserting in a circle, that's why I copy it in a circular manner. Okay, so then, we then scale it down to, so that it will fit this particular place. Okay, but you can do one thing. Let's change the position of this one behind this. Okay, and now let's select that particular layer and go and remove color. So you go to remove color or erase color. You click on the erase color. You enable it. Now you can see that the color, white color, is removed, and now the shape is now showing. So let's confirm it. And we have this cool effect here. Okay. So with this. Let's merge some layers now. So let's merge this layer and add layer to. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do is let's change the color of this layer. Or this this particular shape. Let's change it. Let's select the picker tool and then go and pick a color from the image that we inserted with this particular image. We want to use this particular color. So let's take it from here and we insert it here. Okay, so this one too, um, let's also change the color of that one also. Um, I think, um, uh, let's, let me see, let me see. Okay, let's use yellow. Yellow is cool. Okay. So now we have this. The next thing we are going to do, I think we, if we are okay with this, we can merge everything so that uh, we don't distract them whilst we work on our project, our, our other activities. So let's merge everything together. Okay. So now we are going to add our test. But before that, we need to add our logo here. So you can... Um, Place the logo in a box, or sorry, in a shape, or you can just place the logo like that. So any any way that you want, you can do that. So let me place my logo here. Okay, so let me set, uh, copy it like this. Okay, this one is cool. And then let me apportion it nicely here. Now we have our logo please. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to add our text. So first of all, you can add the company name. So let's go to text and then go and edit the text. And let's say the company name is um, Jorut. Jorut Academy. Place it here. Then we change the um, the font. So let's select the this uh, icon here. The A with the first icon, and then scroll to font. Then we change the font in some at least there. So the font we change it to. Uh, let me scroll and. Okay, let's use this one. Good. And uh, maybe the size, let's, let's add some size. I think the size of it a bit. Okay. So I think this one is okay. So we have this here. So we do it Academy. Okay, so it adds a data and adverts. Um, flyer so we can add some 
can add a text to it. So you can add this particular text here. Okay. So you can say uh, video or say what? Uh, sorry, graphic design. And change the font of this one to to a more stylish uh, manner. So let's select this one. Can you maintain the so we can maintain the the text colors or you can equally um, change the colors too and that one depends on the kind of design you are doing okay so with this one it's okay for now so we can now add some cool text here so let's let's add some text here let's copy this particular text and then bring it here and then here we can change because of the background So, let's, these are the tests. So, what you have to learn. 
so you can say um, poster poster design um, business business flyers logo design so these are the that you can type you can type the text i want so you can say education card and you can also add um let's say business card or complementary card This one, okay, okay, let's add this one ETC to show that this list is endless. Okay, then we then check the size. So let's reduce the size. We can use white. Okay. So let's let's also check the alignment. Let's center this one. So let me check the alignment to. Okay. So this alignment. So let's align them center. Okay. So this. Is so we we are good with everything now. So we don't want need to add more text. So, so you can add your your date, the date that you want it, want the program to start. You can add then add your contact. So let's let's try to add some some other effects. So let's add a shape here and let's scale it and then. Add your text. Uh, sorry, your your um, contact here. So you can maintain the color, or you can change to any color you want. Then you click and add your text. So let's see um, your contact. So contact. Us. Then your number will come. Two four zero. Okay, so then you place that on your work. Okay, so let's change. Let's check the size. So you can change change the the, uh, the style to embolden it. Embolden it. Okay, I think this one is okay. Okay, so that is this is a simple way of creating a business flyer. So you can manipulate with this. You can add your shapes. You can add so many other things to it. You can even add another uh, shape here to. Like in the form of a circle, so that it can also take, let's say, the price. So you can use this one, this particular section here. Then, that will, that will take care of the price. So you can add the price, add it, and you're good to go. Okay, so I want you to design something similar or something more beautiful than this as your project. Okay, so I'll end the lesson here and you're going to continue in another lesson.